Hello everybody, it's Shayna with Robinson Repurposing. And if you're new here, what I like to do is thrift flips, repurposed furniture, Dollar Tree DIYs, all that kind of stuff on a budget. So if you like that, definitely stick around, subscribe to my channel. And let's go ahead and get into today's video. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I transformed these two end tables. These were a custom order, so my friend wanted them a specific way. So anyway, I started out by taking off the hardware, obviously. Okay, and then here I was just showing you guys, I was using a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws. Okay, so I got the hardware removed and then I used a solution of half water, half bleach to clean the whole table off really well. And then I started to take Slick Stick, Dixie Bell's Slick Stick. It's basically like a primer and it helps with glossy surfaces. Like this table, the bottom, the whole table was very glossy. But the bottom, I wasn't going to sand it. I didn't want to sand it and, and she, she wanted it white and distressed. So I didn't need to sand it. I just wanted, I just went in with the Slick Stick. And Slick Stick just helps bond the paint to the surface. So like I said, this is Slick and this, the Slick Stick, <laughs> will, that's hard to say, will bond the paint to the surface. It's basically like a primer and it just helps the paint stick. And I only did one coat of this uh, Slick Stick. Sorry, it's so hard to say without messing it up. Anyway, I only did one coat of it. Sometimes I recommend two if you're going to have like a full coverage of white on the bottom. And sometimes I recommend even tinting it with your paint color. But like I said, I was going to do white and distressed on this. So just one coat on this was sufficient. Okay, so I just repeated this process on all four of the sides of the table and I only did one coat of slick stick and I was doing two end tables and then so I just finished this one up with one thin coat and let it dry and then I moved on to the other side I mean the other table sorry okay and slick stick goes on kind of crazy looking just it's just kind of like a first coat you know it doesn't look great so there it is right there you can see one coat so don't be worried though it's just what it looks like and you don't have to have your brush strokes like looking perfect it just is what it is on that first coat. Just you got to do a second and sometimes you got to do a third. You know what I mean? So anyway, I get my buttercream out. That's this color and I just go in and I put one thin but nice full coverage. Well, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> I put one like nice coverage coat <laughs> on this. And that's all it took. It just took one nice thick, I guess, but like thin at the same time, if that makes any sense. Just one good coat. Now, as you can see, the one coat, like on that part there, and then here on this part, you'll see in a second, one coat was perfect. I mean, it was perfectly sufficient, especially for the fact that I'm going to go back in and distress this here in a second. So one coat was perfect. Any more, you'd just be wasting your paint. For this technique anyway, I mean, if you're going to do full coverage, obviously, you'd need to do another coat. But yeah, like I said, distress, this is perfect. So as you can see here, I just got all four sides of each table covered and it was starting to look real good. Okay, and then I went in with my sander here in a second and some 60 grit, yeah, I believe it was 60 grit sandpaper and I just distressed this up like real heavy because her table like on the bottom, you can see there, it's not perfectly covered with white paint. It's very distressed. 
Um, it's not quite the same distressed as what I'm doing here, but it's pretty distressed. Anyway, and then you'll see there, like you can see the sander marks on this part. And I do go back in and touch that up and kind of whitewash back over that. So you'll see that here in a minute. Okay, and then I got out my sander and I just basically scuff sanded the top. I just, we're going for a look like this right here in this picture. So basically I just needed to rough up the top and I don't achieve this look exactly um, because the woods are different. Like that was like a roughed up barn wood on that table and this is a very slick finished surface. So anyway, I had to sand it off to get it a little less slick. Then I wiped it off really good. And then I took a watered down buttercream. This was about um, half water, half paint. And I just, it was just left in that container from the fireplace I just did actually. So I just decided to dry brush it across the top here. And I wanted to leave a lot of the wood grain like the wood already on there. I wanted to leave a lot of that to show, if that makes sense. So I just very lightly dry brushed this on here. And then I took my wood you grain tool and I just made some faux wood look, beam looks on here, you know, board looks, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Um, and like I said, I did not really know what I was doing here to try to get that look. I was just trying to mimic, you know, whitewashed, wood on the top of this so then I took some gel stain and I kind of dry brushed it on there because I wasn't I just wasn't liking it and I felt like this darker gel stain would help pull through just pull out some of the wood look I don't know I'm not making any sense but I, you can just watch what I'm doing and this is how I got the look <laughs> voiceovers are hard sometimes I promise it all comes like together in the end you know it, it, it gets there but I just kept going. I just like right there. You saw me sand it off a little bit. Then I took some more stain. Then I took some more white. Then I think I used my wood green tool again. You know what I mean? Just back and forth until I got it how I liked it. Used the paper towel to wipe it off. More white. Like I said, just watch the process. And, and this is just all part of painting. You know, you have to just kind of do it and trial and error. If you have any questions, also always feel free to ask me in the comments. Um, I'm always willing to answer anything that I left out. Also, like just did a little disclaimer. I'm not like professional. I just do this because people always tend to ask me like how I did something. And so I just decided to start videoing the process of how I do things. Like I said, it might not be the proper way. It might not be the best way. I know there's other ways and all the things. And like I said, I'm not a professional. I just, I'm just showing you guys what I do personally. So if it's wrong, don't come at me. <laughs> but anyway, all I'm doing here is taking Dixie Belle's clear wax and this wax brush, and I'm just rubbing this wax into the surface of these front drawers. I didn't wax the whole piece. I just waxed the front drawers because, you know, this part will have more action than the rest of the piece. And technically, you don't really have to seal Dixie Belle paint. So anyway, I just sealed this front side and when you do wax or when I do wax I just rub it in until it's not like sticky feeling anymore like you can see I was feeling it with my thumb there and all of that oh also in this part you'll see me take sandpaper and I like sanded the top of the drawer after I put the wax on just a disclaimer definitely don't do that if you're gonna sand something sand it first wipe it off then put your wax on I was just like being brain dead there for a second and I wanted to sand off that top of that drawer so I kind of did that out of order but anyway learned from my mistakes which really wasn't a big deal but anyway then I put the hardware back on and then this was pretty much done and I just sealed the top I, I don't have footage of me sealing the top but I sealed the top with um a flat brush and matte polycrylic and it turns out it turns out so good Okay, here's a look at the tables before again, so you can get the full effect. And here they are after. I think they are just so beautiful. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful or inspiring in some way.